so guys welcome we're making pseudo 3d in fusion here we go into the frame editor uh, and we'll make an active object and we'll make a camera and i suggest you make a a camera which shows which direction you point but it's up to you how you want to make it it's just i'll always keep it very simple so it's just a, a sideways line as you can see uh, we also make a tree object now, I like to draw everything, it's totally up to you. You also don't have to make a tree, it can be anything, a wall, a person, whatever you want to, uh, you know, show your 3D world. And when you do this, it's very important that you put the hotspot of this object in the bottom. Then you go to runtime option and you uncheck destroy object. If too far from frame you do this by both objects so we have both the uh, both are not destroyed if they're far from frame otherwise your objects might disappear and I will give the camera a direction movement that's only for now later it probably will be either race car option or you make your custom movement or you put it on an object it's totally up to you but this is only a test then we'll open the event editor and we start coding and we only need two lines a start of frame and uh, an always event so we go to camera we do scale angle and we say set the angle of the camera to 90 and that will make the camera face up and we'll use this for now and then we go to uh, the tree object and alt value a will be put to position x and alt value b will be put to position y now, what this does is it will basically store the original position of the object always in diffusion. So next we'll make an always event. We'll choose alt value C. We already used alt value A and B. And we choose uh, camera position uh, and choose angle of a, of a vector. And for the X, you should alt value A. And for Y, you put alt value B. Now, these were the original positions of the object, if you remember. So, we always know the angle. And for alt value D, this is a big line. Uh, we go to scene, arcs, tangent of Y, X. And for X, we choose scene, alt value C, minus angle of the camera. And for uh, Y, we choose cos, alt value C, minus angle of the camera. And what this does... It knows now the difference between the angle of the camera and the angle of the object towards the camera. So by knowing that, we always have uh, basically the X position of the object in a correct manner for 3D, um, which works, right? So this is a big line, but I'll put it down in the bottom so you can basically uh, figure this out. And then what we'll do is we'll put the... Uh, uh, we go to our three objects, we choose the X position, and I'll set 320 minus alt value D times 10. Now, how do I get to 320? That's half my screen in the X position. So, if I now put a couple of trees in, and we play it, um, what will happen is you'll see a nice parallax event, because uh, of this code, right? And we didn't even put all in, but you already see you can put nice parallax scrolling in there. So that's it, guys. Okay, and next we'll put alt value E uh, and we go to camera, position, distance with a point, and we'll put value A of 3 and value B of 3 as the Y position. Now, these were the original positions, as you know. You can also change these names, by the way, but I never do that. Um, so now we know always the distance and then we'll go to our three we choose scale angle and set the scale to one which is the normal uh, biggest value minus alt e times 0 0.008 now why did i get to these numbers well this is only a test but basically uh these low numbers um that's basically what subtracts from the value so there will be some scaling and what I do next is the Y position of the object, the tree object. I'll put it to 240 plus X scale times 240. Now 240 is half the screen, uh, the Y position. And that means that my horizontal line is just in the middle. Now, you, of course, you can change this later. And as you can see, 
we have some uh, 3D effect right now where we can walk around, uh, which works, right? That's great, that's great. So guys, that was actually it. Um, now all we need to do is uh, uh, change the angle of the camera and you can look around you just, uh, I'll give it a race car movement or something. And what you see me do here is um, just finishing the engine a little bit. Now what I'm doing at the moment is artificially changing the draw distance because objects might uh, move, uh, uh, disappear fast in the background. Uh, all this is optional, right? So you don't need to do this. I usually do this, which will take some time. Uh, and uh, what I do next, uh, as you can see here, I give my camera the movement of a race car and it follows an angle. And I here I put an, uh, a background in. And at this point, I'll just create a lot of object with a fast loop and and here you see me change the animation of the objects and what you do in the fast loop you just put the, uh, the animation on random and you have a lot of different objects you see me create some trees and some grass and all that crap so then you get sort of a vibrant little world uh, of course you can play with this as much as you want right so as you can see here okay guys i am back and here we have the finished engine now as you can see we have an object over there which is the object of the sprite the flying witch you see there and the camera is following it it's attached to the action point now i just changed that tree object into a group object so i can use as much objects if i liked as you can see here i added some fog um mountains in the background uh, clouds all this the same uh, object which was is essentially the tree uh so as you can see you can completely fly around mountains and trees and all that crap and then here in the center i made a little village uh where people are walking around and of course i didn't make it too good but whatever you know the drill um yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you like the engine. You can uh, make some cool things like it. So the Doom clones, uh, race games, uh, basically RPGs, whatever you want. And it's not hard at all. Thank you for watching, and I hope you see you guys another time.